Happy Monday, this is Dow Welsh welcoming you to Make Your Own Headlines, sponsored by the office of Dr. Leo Marvin and the letter Y. Okay, so who are your favorite superheroes? I'd have to go with Batman and Reuben. That's right, the Cape Crusader and his tasty sidekick, the classic American grilled Reuben sandwich. I don't think I've ever had a Reuben I didn't like, but two of my favorites are the pastrami Reuben and the turkey Reuben at Fifth Avenue Deli in Columbia. Their Edisto sandwich is pretty fabulous too. Violet's Tavern is about a five minute drive from the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. They're mostly known for their great burgers, but according to Eve Beatty of Eater.com, they also have been known for occasionally having a Yuba Reuben on the menu. What is a Yuba? Well, it's not that 80s hatchback your Uncle Rico used to drive. That's a Yugo. Beatty says that Yuba is a soy product that occupies the territory between straight-up tofu and more engineered faux meats. So there you go. Brandon Gillis is the co-founder of Violet's Tavern. He said the Yuba Reuben is not on the menu right now, but when it returns, if the past is any indicator, people will get it again and again and again. But can you really Reuben with Yuba? Gillis is a New Yorker. He said he's eaten a lot of pastrami and a lot of Reubens. And his philosophy is that if you swap out the meat or some of the other fixins, it's not a complete deal breaker. Why? He said what makes a Reuben a Reuben isn't just one thing like the meat. Rather, he said the Reuben is a sandwich that is defined by the composition of things. In other words, it's how all the ingredients come together. I was reading something recently by a guy named Colin Noble, and he said we are living in a time when the expectations of keeping up with everything continually escalate. Courtesy, he says, of Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Netflix, and all the rest. He said that we're expected to always be available, aware of everything that's happening, and capable of achieving anything. And that demand to be omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent places pressure on all of us. Then he said you add things like inadequate sleep, poor dietary habits, caffeine addiction, the urge to promote ourselves, And we have the perfect recipe for constant anxiety and restlessness. So, how can you change the ingredients in your day? The Apostle Paul was writing to some folks in a place called Galatia. He said something crazy simple that goes like this. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. In other words, those are the kinds of things that everybody wants on everybody's menu. Look, I can't promise you that you would like a Yuba Reuben, but if you could throw together some of that fruit, you'd have the ingredients of a really good sandwich for your life today. Hey, let's just make it simple on all of us. Let's just pick two. Let's go with goodness and kindness. Those are both ways to talk about generosity. So in the next hour, how can you show generosity to someone else? And why should you? Because in his goodness and his kindness and his generosity, God has given you new life today. So grab a Reuben for lunch and be generous, and you might just turn out to be a Monday superhero in someone's life. Make that one of your headlines today.